Naming Lines and Angles. Let's review types of lines. Horizontal lines, vertical lines, and diagonal lines. These are ways to describe what direction a line is going. Parallel lines, intersecting lines, and perpendicular lines. These are ways to describe how a line is positioned in relation to another line. Parallel lines never cross. They go on and on forever without ever crossing each other. Intersecting lines cross. Intersecting is just another word for crossing. Perpendicular lines are intersecting lines. They cross, but when they do, they form a right angle. Let's review types of angles. Acute angles, right angles, obtuse angles, and straight angles. Acute angles measure less than 90 degrees. Right angles measure exactly 90 degrees. Obtuse angles measure more than 90 but less than 180 degrees. And straight angles measure exactly 180 degrees. Naming lines and angles. You may be asked to identify lines and angles in a figure like the one below. Notice that points on the figure are labeled with letters. You'll need to use these letters to name lines and angles. For example, the line highlighted in red would be called line AC. That's because points A and C both fall on this line. We could trace from one to the other, like a dot to dot. This would be written AC with a little line above it. The line above the letters tells me that it's a line instead of a line segment or maybe a ray. You could also call this same line line CA because lines go in both directions. Ray AC would be written AC with a little ray above it. Notice there's only an arrow on one end. You could not call this ray CA. That would be a different ray entirely. This is ray CA. It goes in the opposite direction. You could call this line segment AC or CA. Notice the symbol above the letters doesn't have any arrows. That's the symbol for line segment. You can use this system to name parallel and perpendicular lines. AB and CD are parallel. This can be written line AB is parallel to line CD. The symbol in the middle that looks like two parallel lines is the symbol for parallel. Line AB and line BD are perpendicular. This can be written, line AB is perpendicular to line BD. Notice the symbol looks like a pair of perpendicular lines forming right angles. The letters can also be used to name angles using this symbol. The highlighted angle would be written angle BAC or angle CAB. Think about which letters you hit when you trace the angle. Remember, it's kind of like a dot to dot. This is an acute angle. This angle would be written angle ABC or angle CBA. But DBC or CBD would also work to describe the same angle. This is a right angle. This angle could be written angle DAC or angle CAD. Remember, trace along the angle like a dot to dot. What letters do you hit? This is an obtuse angle. An angle can also be named by its vertex or corner. For example, you could call this angle angle B. But you wouldn't want to call this angle A because four different angles share this vertex and we wouldn't know which one you were talking about. We would have to call this angle BAC or angle CAB. Let's review the symbols. A little line above the letters with two arrows is the symbol for line. A ray only has an arrow on one end. A line segment doesn't have any arrows. The sign for angle just looks like a little angle. Parallel looks like two parallel lines, and perpendicular looks like a pair of perpendicular lines.